Your thoughts dictate your what? Your words. Your words dictate your actions. Your actions dictate what? Your habits. Your habits determine your what? Who you are as a person, your character. And your character determines your legacy, which is your future. So I learned this a long time ago, so I was like, guy. Michael is 19 years old, every single word that comes out of his mouth is fuck, 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 Every single, right? So I had to change my vocabulary. I couldn't speak properly at 19. I wish you guys had met me at 19. Like I always tell Eric, I was lost in the sauce. I had no direction. I didn't know where I wanted to go. All I knew was this. I did not want the life that I had. So I had to make a decision. I was like this, God, please send me something so I can do so. I want to do something. I don't want to be where I'm at. So guess who I met? A mentor. I met a mentor at 19 who put me into the Amway business. Me being in that business for five years, I learned so many secrets about success, about reading books, about positive thinking, about the, you know, the, your law of attraction, law of your habits, all this stuff. And I realized that every, I had to change my life backwards. So I wanted, a, I wanted a specific lifestyle. But I knew that if I have to fucking have this life that I really, really want, I have to change into that person. The person that I was at 19 would never be able to afford this. Why? Because his mentality, Michael Barayev at 19 years old, the mentality was wrong. You understand? It was very emotional, very crazy, very obnoxious, very arrogant, low self-image, didn't believe in myself. So that Michael could never be able to live in a, in a Miami apartment or drive a Lamborghini or have a watch or have nice clothes. It couldn't be possible. So I had to do what? The one thing I had to do was what? Change my fucking thinking. Thinking is everything. Rich people think differently than poor people. You understand? So in order for us to become successful today, we have to think differently than every single other salesperson out there. Thoughts attract. Your thoughts dictate how you speak. How you speak will dictate how you act. For example, when you're on a motorcycle, who's ever been on a motorcycle before? Okay. If you look, if you drive like this, what's going to end up happening? You're not going to crash, but you're going to end up, your mind will make your body follow where the mind is looking. You can't drive like this, it's not gonna happen. You get it? By default, your body will automatically follow your fucking mind. So what you speak, what you think of, is automatically gonna make your body follow exactly what you're thinking about and what you're speaking about. That's why I say, it. speak what you want, not what you have. You understand? Oh, nobody wants to open the door for me. Guess what happened? Your attitude now is accepting the fact that nobody's going to open a door for you. And now you are literally speaking in a way where nobody would want to open a door for you. You get it? Because your mind, your mind is in charge. Your body follows your mind. Does that make sense? That's why it's very important to have the right fucking attitude. Because your attitude will dictate the results. Always. That's why 98% of this business and most businesses in becoming successful is about your mentality, your attitude. If you believe you're going to get a sale... Sitting in front of the customer, you will do whatever you can to figure it out the sale. But if you're like, I don't think I will, you're not going to get it because you don't believe you're going to get it. The way you believe is the way you're going to convince the customer because the customer doesn't believe yet. You believe. If you don't believe, why the fuck should they believe? But don't let the one or two or three retards affect your mentality. Does that make sense? Because coronavirus or no coronavirus, people are going to still say stupid shit. They're going to say, oh, the weather, oh, it's too hot, oh, it's too cold, oh, I'm busy, oh, my children, oh, my dog. It's always going to be something. You want to you put that in advantage. So remember, what you think of or what? Will attract. Think of it this way. You have, a fucking, you have a fucking tower. A tower. Electrical radio tower. There's this kind of frequency. There's this type of frequency. There's this type of frequency, Right? And there's this type of frequency. Are they all different frequencies? Yeah. Yes. One is long range. One is short range. Right? This one travels very short distances. This one travels what? Very long distances. How do you think whales communicate in the water? Long range. Miles. Miles they can hear each other communicate. Right? Because they have sonar that sends a message through the fucking water. Make sense? So if you're, if you're on the other side of the tower, right? This is you as a human being. And let's say this is poor mentality, and let's say this is rich mentality, right? And let's say it connects, let's say it connects, right? If you channel this type of energy, this type of thinking, life sucks, 
world is dying, coronavirus, I suck, I'm an idiot, I'm a loser, I never can do this, I should have never did this, I'm risking everything, it's not guaranteed, it's not for me, I don't like sales, I don't like talking to people, people don't like me, people don't want to listen to me, Michael's better, Michael's Jewish, he's Jewish, she's Spanish, she's Cuban, I'm not Cuban, he speaks two languages, I speak one language, it's not going to work for me, it's going to work. You, do you realize that what are you going to attract yourself? You're going to attract the richness or you're going to attract the poor shit? Poor shit. So what you think about is literally coming to your life. I literally went to Miami and I, I, I swear to you, I said to myself, I'm going to find the most amazing fucking team the second I get to Miami. And guess who I found? You guys. Is it by chance? I got fucking lucky because I'm Jewish, right? Somebody touched me. No. I fucking thought about it every fucking day while I was in New York. I'm going to go to Miami. I felt that there's somebody waiting for me. to. Get, there's a team waiting for me. I can't wait for motherfuckers that were like, hey, I have a bachelor's degree in aerodynamics. Okay, good, motherfucker. Now you can't get a job now because the airlines ain't hiring. Lower your ego. Let's go make fucking money. All the corporate people that were getting paid $250, $350, $450, all their fucking salaries are cut in half. Now they're getting real humble. Think about it. All these motherfuckers that are driving all these nice fucking cars, guess what's going to happen? They can't afford their payments. They're going to lose everything. They're going to start crying. And they're going to say, fuck it. I need to go to Indeed. They're going to read your fucking positive view you put yesterday. And guess what? <laughs> they're going to come work with us. Like, that's how I'm thinking. So I'm attracting motherfucking shit that I want. I should be panicking more than a fucking Joey Schmoe that just has to worry about his fucking what? His food. Right? I got 80 fucking families that are depending on me. I make, whatever decision that I make can change everything for them. So I'm literally sitting here thinking. And I'm having a pop. Yesterday was a little bit challenging because I heard the bad news. But today I feel what? I feel fucking great. Because I put everything in perspective. The way I think is going to attract what I want. Make sense? So let me ask you guys a question. What could we start thinking right now? How can we start changing our thinking? What kind of thinking should we have? Success. What does that mean to you? Tattoo on your ass cheek or a tattoo here? What does it mean? Come on, give me some ideas. What does that mean? Be specific. It's like saying, I want to be happy. What the fuck does that mean? What? Perfect. Be more specific. Let's go. Speak out loud. Come on, be specific with what you want. I'll give you an example. If you go to a store and you go to the store, a grocery store, and you say, hey guys, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it right now. I want it. I want and want it. They're going to tell you what the fuck do you want. You're going to God right now, the, the, the land of everything. You're going to God and saying, I want success. He's like, okay, what does that mean? Tell me what it means. You want success. Great. What does it mean? You tell me specifically. Paint me the fucking picture. What does that fucking mean? I want success. I want money. He's like, okay, you want five cents? You want five dollars? You want fifty dollars? What the fuck do you want? That's my point. What do you want? It's the position where you want to be. In. Ah, it could be a lot of things. It could be the respect that you want to earn from someone. It could be the, the uh, cumulative collection of some sort of money, note, car, phones. Some people just want to be successful because they want to have two phones. They want to be busy enough. I don't fucking know. So you got to be specific with what you want. So what we think about today, tomorrow, next week, next month is going to determine how we what? How we speak. As a matter of fact, you know what's crazy? That's how customers are going to see you. Why is it that some sales guys sell? Why is it some sales guys sell sales and some sales guys get nothing? Because the way they feel about the customer getting signed a deal is exactly what the customer is going to do. Customers are like sheep. They're going to do exactly what they feel of you. Not what you tell them, what they feel. You know, you know, right? If they don't feel you know, that you're a good person, no if they don't feel like you're, they trust Moses, you, if they don't feel like they trust you, they ain't going to do business with you. They have to feel good about you, right? If they feel good about you, they'll make the decision. On the days that you feel good, what do you have? What do you have? You have success. You have sales. On the days you feel like... You think you're going to get sales? No, we proved it yesterday. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. You have to have the right fucking attitude, the right mentality, the right... Ah! With that mentality, you'll get sales. With that mentality, you'll be able to bless other people. Guess what's going to happen? What kind of actions am I going to create today? Lazy actions or ambitious actions? <sighs> it's proven because I'm speaking, right? And my actions today, over time, I keep doing them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Through time, what will happen? That's, that's going to be my habit. So for example, every day I wake up, Every day I wake up, I write down my goals before I leave the house. That's your, that's your habit. That's blessed. That's good. Thank, thank, say thank you to God. That's another habit, right? I always what? I listen to my audios. I read my book. I do something positive before I go to bed. I read my book. It's a habit. Those habits determine how I think about myself. It determines who I am as an individual. You understand? 
Me as an individual, am I a happy person? Am I a positive person? Am I a negative person? Am I a trustworthy person? If I lie and cheat every single day, what's gonna happen with my character? I'm gonna be a liar, I'm gonna be a cheater, I'm gonna be a fucking manipulator, you understand? So you wanna determine your character to be a positive individual. When people don't know you, the first five minutes, can they say something positive about you or something negative? When, what someone thinks about you in the first couple of minutes of talking to you, that is who your character is, right? So when somebody meets you, what are they thinking? That's how I, that, somebody asked me a long time, how do you know who to invest your time in, who to not invest your time in? Very simple, when I meet them, I know who they are. And I can work backwards and tell them, finding out what is it going on in their mind. And if you find out what's going on in their mind, you can figure out they're fucking gonna fuck you, they're gonna lie to you, they're bullshitting you. So last thing, Roberto, what's the last thing? If you control these different things, what'll happen with your future? Will it get better or worse? Better. better. You're gonna have a legacy that will live on. So when you die, people already have, people in your family will say, that's grandpa fucking Roberto with the little fucking picture on the wall that has the eyes like this.